there are several different algorithms that are used to implement digital signatures. Let's take a look at the hashed message authentication codes, or HMAC, HMAC. HMAC uses shared secret keys, so it doesn't provide the non-repudiation issue. It also is more efficient than public key encryption schemes. So if you want something that's very fast, and you're okay with using shared secret keys, HMAC will do the trick for you. The Digital Signature Algorithm, or DSA, is an asymmetric algorithm. So instead of using shared secret or symmetric keys, he uses asymmetric keys. He has a variable length key size that goes from 512 bits all the way up to 1024 or 1K bits. And he works with SHA-1 Digest. So DSA incorporates or works best with the SHA Digest. So in this case, we will use encryption through DSA. We actually use the Digest creation using the SHA hashing algorithm. Continuing on, there is the DSS. The DSS is the Digital Signature Standard. Now the Digital Signature Standard is the documentation or the standard that was set forth by NIST and it sets the standards for all cryptography usage with respect to government entities. Bottom line is that DSS specifies that we use DSA for digital signatures and SHA-1 for the hashing functions. So we pull these two together and that forms the digital signature standard that the government currently uses.